Hey everyone, welcome to Serious Sam VR. So this is one of the most anticipated titles on the HTC Vive in a while. It just came out today and it is in early access, so not all the content is available. As you can see, there's like five total worlds you can go to, but only two of them are currently playable. So I'm gonna go into the second world and the Saratoga was supposed to give pick it my up best something. shot. If you haven't played Serious Sam before, it's just a series of really intense FPS games. And that's basically what this is, except it is in VR. And it is a wave-based shooter. Two, one. And it is pure room-scale movement. Yo, so you can only move around here. as much as you can physically move around in your room. There's no sort of locomotion method. But that's okay, because it can still get really intense. Now, you can shoot pretty much any projectile out of the air, so you don't have to be dodging around like crazy. Although, if that's what you're into, you can definitely do that. And, periodically, power-ups will drop out of the sky, and you can shoot their parachute to get them. Alright. Fire mummies. And lava golems. Oh god! those power-ups. Get that lava going. Yeah, okay. Oh, looks like I ran out of ammo on my guns. Now I'm using these uh, default laser pistols that have unlimited ammo. So, for every world, when you start out, all you get is pistols. But once you meet the first stage, you get a bunch of credits and you can buy some big guns. Alright, we got flying drones. A must have for every VR FPS game, apparently. We're taking some hits. Okay, there's still a guy up. Guess I gotta keep looking. Whew. We did it. Nicely done. All right. Go to the shop and gear up. Let's go to the shelf and gear up. Get some new weapons. Whew. All that sand was getting to me. Figured I'd take a break in the shade. Looks like Mentals guys had the same idea. Desert planets suck. True that, Serious Sam. Okay, so there's a bunch of weapons you can buy. I only have 2,000 credits, and you also need to buy ammo, so I'm gonna go for the assault rifle, and fill her up, fill up my pistols, use up all my credits. Let's go on to stage two. The Botanical Gardens. Oh, this is a cool looking level. Good luck. Select start out with the pistols, because the Worst weapons R &R were Ever. Stages usually start out pretty tame, although uh, these are some intense psychotic frogs. They're really cute, though. Oh god! Oh yeah, assault rifle. intense. So, uh, even though there's not a lot of like active dodging involved and the enemies only come from a 180 degree sphere, they don't come from behind you, this game can still get really, really intense just from the massive quantities of enemies that they rush at you. Oh god. Balls! <laughs> Balls coming at me. Stay away. They're not dying. Oh, okay. Just take some hits. Oh god, I'm out of ammo on my assault rifle. And my pistol. Ammo. Oh god, exploders. These guys are suicide bombers. <laughs> so you can't let them get close to you. And massive missile shooting goliaths. Okay, more ammo. 
ammo. Let's go back to the assault rifle. Oh god. Yeah! Take that! So, oh! I thought I killed them all. There we go. Oh! More frogs and some crazy woman in the air. This looks like, uh, like the boss. Haha! <laughs> it's ridiculously fun! And I love the enemy variety, like... Something you don't get in a lot of VR games. There. Okay. I'm gonna get you. Teleporting bitch. Oh god! Yeah! Woo! Now, if I were an anomaly... <sighs> Good stuff. Where would I be? Phase completed. Time to resupply. Man, that was an intense level. It was really fun, though. It's weird audio issues. Okay. The anomaly was still playing hard to get, but my favorite gun was tugging me in the direction of the city. And who can you trust if not your favorite gun? This gun, minigun. Yes, please. And I'm out of credits. I want all the guns. Okay. Let's go. We start started. off with the assault Select rifles. Your weapons. Looks like I found the highway to hell. Sand crawlers. Oh god, exploders. <laughs> I love the sounds they make. Ah! Ah! Oh, what's this? Okay, massive, like, four armed beast. Ah! All right, got him. Oh, whoa. something got me. Okay, let's try that again. Minigun. How much money do I have? Hmm. I kinda wanna just get another gun. Okay. Let's try that again. All right, I'm gonna start out with just the default pistol because the beginning of this level is pretty Enemies easy. Incoming. Gotta conserve my ammo. Exploders. Okay, switch it up. Whoa, whoa. Ah! Come on, hit him. God, the guy has a lot of health. Okay. Alright, it's time to bust out the big guns. Yeah! <laughs> Shane coming at me. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, this game is so fun. Love it. The graphics are really cool too. Whoa! And even though 
though the enemies don't come at you from behind, they can still take you by surprise. <laughs> Just because there's so goddamn many of them. Supply. Time to resupply. Whew. Yeah, overall this game is really goddamn fun. Crack the anomaly to the top of a tower, which was good, because the Saratoga was about to fall out of orbit and my crew was getting nervous. Let's fill up on ammo first, and then I will go for I mean you can't go wrong with a rocket launcher, right? No, no money for health, so I'm just gonna go in with one hit point. That's okay, I'll get some health power-ups. Okay. Enemies incoming! Start out with these bad boys. Yeah, get wrecked! And maybe the assault rifles are overkill for this part of the level. But better safe than sorry. I haven't seen any power ups yet, actually. Which is a bit concerning because I only have one hit point. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is cool that I'm on this, like, moving platform now. All the other stages so far have been just, um, not moving at all. Oh god. There's a welcoming party! Dang it! Okay. I'm definitely gonna buy some health. Because it doesn't look like power-ups actually spawn in this stage. So let's get full health. Um... Fill up, fill up. Oh, I can't, can't afford the rocket launcher now. That's a shame. I'll get the laser cannon instead. Okay, let's try just the regular pistols. Enemies incoming! These guys, like, look like soldiers, but they sound like freaking zombies. I guess they're like zombie soldiers. Okay, now we can move on to assault rifles. Ha <laughs> ha 
God damn. So satisfying. Oh, one of these guys. Oh, minigun tore him up. Oh, this must be the laser cannon. Oh, that's cool. So I guess there's no reloading or anything in this game. Just like when you run out of ammo, you instantly switch weapons. Which is pretty cool. So basically the game is just 100% intense <laughs> shooting the entire freaking time. for everything now. Oh, okay. Looks like there's another stage to this level. Hopefully there will be some power-ups up here. Because I am hurting and I have no ammo. Ominous. Oh, this is a boss. Uh oh. Power ups. Okay. Gonna be tough to shit through that. Okay. Oh god. I just know he's gonna throw debris at me. Okay. 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 A minigun. Yep, there's the debris. I love that even while you're fighting a boss, you have to contend with like hordes of little minions. Get the debris! Alright, gotta get him all this week! Hits. I'm good on health though, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, I've gotten lots of ammo. Back to my favorite gun, the minigun. Uh, just in time to lay in some serious damage. Intense. Oh god. Yeah. Eat that. Weird little brain thing. Hey, Saratoga. You reading me? You can let go of the handbrake now. Your captain has made the bad magnet go away. All right. Aw, no more firing my guns. Okay. That was one of the worlds the in Serious Sam. The other one is Earth, the first world. And then there will be three more that are in development. They are not out yet. Each one has three difficulties, um, easy, medium, and hard. So, yeah. That's a taste of what the game is like. It's basically 100% non-stop action. You're just constantly firing your guns, constantly being swarmed by both like small melee enemies and tons of ranged enemies. So yeah, it's a really intense, uh, really fun game. Um, I do recommend it. Uh, the only downside is that it is $40, which is a pretty big price tag even for a VR game. And it is early access, so this is going to be like the bare minimum of content you can get from this game. So if that sounds like a bit too much, then just wait for a while, because they will come out with more updates, I'm sure. But yeah, I had a lot of fun with this game. Definitely one of the top wave shooters up there with Space Pirate Trainer and Raw Data. So uh, check it out if you're into that sort of game in VR. And uh, check out my channel if you want to see more VR content. Um, I put out VR gameplay videos. I'm trying to do it on a daily basis now. 
We'll see how long I can keep that up. Uh, please subscribe if you like what you see. And have a great day, and goodbye. Exploders! Ooh, it exploded in my face. The Exploders are actually pretty tough with boss because, uh...